Yeah. Whether it's going to the gym, whether it's partying, drinking, smoking, whatever. You have to have a release. When was the last time you released? Bro, I'm releasing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm releasing right now. <laughs> cheers, boys. Cheers, cheers, boys. Cheers, cheers. 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 Let's go. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I'm going to start a podcast, but I don't know the name. You he know. was like, well, what do you think the name should should be? You know, he was trying to tell me that I shouldn't overthink uh, the name. So I was like, yo, what if I just name it That's Crazy Bro? He looked at me, he He's laughed, like, you know. That's like, crazy, bro. Yeah, he, he just understood like how that, how it makes sense, you know, because. Right, right, right. You have there, to know there? you. You have to know you to know that. Yeah. Because, bro, you say that all the time. Yeah, and but it's bro. not like, because you know when people say like, oh, that's crazy, like to end the story. Yeah. Or like you've been telling someone something for a while and they'll be like, oh, that's crazy. Yeah. But like you say it like like to hype you up, like, bro, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, like when you say that shit, it's lit. Exactly, it's lit. Bro, yeah. I'm not saying, oh, that's crazy. Like the Stop talking. Word, yeah, like bro. stop talking. Yeah. Like, that's crazy, bro. Like fucking hype up, you know, like go yeah, crazy. Bro. You know, literally. So he so looked at me and he fucking laughed. He was like, "Was there any other names that you came up with that we can that laugh about now?" Only name, that was the first one. And that was the first one, one, bro. That's one like, and one, one and done. Just wow. one and one done. and done. Like, respect that. That's it. That's crazy. Good, better, so, better. You know, so that's, that's how you know you got a creative mind. Yeah. One and done. Yeah. That's all you need, and all you need. One yeah. and done. Yeah. So that's how. That keep that. Like. Keep that with you. Yeah. One and done, and trust yourself. Yeah. Right, because. When you come up with the next good idea, you cannot doubt yourself. Like what you were saying earlier about um, like putting yourself in that constant like um, reviewing, redoing, redoing, redoing. Bro, trust yourself. You got that creative mind. You know that you have good ideas. You, sp you sound good. You feel good. Bro, people are going to feel that energy. Yeah, yeah, so, nice. you know, one and done. Yeah, Keep nice. that with you. Yeah. Keep that with you on God. And, and like we talked about it. If I was just a random audience member looking at your content for the first time, what would you want? me to think of that's crazy bro what what is the type of content you're trying to push out there uh, what are you pursuing I, I think it should just be like two words you know entertaining and funny you know like it's just the boys me and my boys right. talking having fun you know like it's, it's what'd you say earlier the two things entertainment and friends and the two f friends the two f friends friends and Funny. <laughs> <laughs> friends and funny friends, friends and funny, funny. Friends, that, yeah. Yeah. Friends, friends and funny, funny. yeah that's exactly so that's, good. that's that, like i literally when we went to you know when we went on a walk a couple yeah. minutes before we started the show yeah um i was telling the girl i just walked up to this random girl she was good looking though like i'm gonna try give to us, have a, give us some context bro we went around the lorenzo the most sketchy street you've ever seen in your life mm -hmm. there's this one deep liquor store yep in the in the corner of the street you yep. were trying to get commission i'm yeah, trying to get commission because i'm <laughs> taking two of my friends to the store mm -hmm. <laughs> that sells nothing yep except and alcohol <laughs> <laughs> I tried, I tried. <laughs> I didn't realize I said liquor, and then I'm like, try to play it off. No, nah, they sell, they you. sell juices. They yeah, sell they juices. Sell, yeah. And, and what'd you say? What'd you say to this girl? You approached this girl looking to buy some Gatorade. What, yeah, what do you say? <laughs> so she was just like standing with her friend, confused. She doesn't know what to get. So I was like, Hey, you trying to get through at least? Come on now, you could do better. Ah, <laughs> you could do I better. Did, I don't, she was like, oh, I don't know where to get. I was like, okay, uh, I don't know. I don't mind it though. Just get through at least, you know? Yeah. So, uh, but then I was like, try, about to leave and I acted like I wasn't about to leave. You know, I acted like, oh, talking to them was an accident, you know? If you're watching this, because I know you subscribed, <laughs> my bad, I'm just giving you a shout out. Her name is Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um but yeah i told her that i have a youtube channel you know i just explained my whole uh, thing and i told her do you mind you know giving us a follow on instagram and then she was like yeah sure she was so nice you know like thank you <laughs> very much you know and um good good and yeah i just fucking told her she she loved it she subscribed so i'm looking forward to you know highlighting one of the videos so i <laughs> heard you like, hop on Heard you, so, yeah, yeah heard, you, you, heard you, heard you. So what's the next comment. step? So what's the next step for the podcast? Tell us. The next step, we just got 200 uh, followers on Instagram. Yeah. Heard you, yeah, heard so, you. Exactly. So, Gang. You know, the next one would be 500 followers, like my target, because I love to celebrate my small wins, you know? Mm -hmm. So 
you get to 500 uh, followers on Instagram, on YouTube, hit 1,000. We could do that. You know, 1,000 You got on it. YouTube, you got it. You know. You got and, it. Uh, and then when we get there, you know, like we are progressing. You know, you know you, that's how I track my progress. Mm. And then the next one would be a 1K follower. And then, you know, like. Giveaway. Special giveaway. Special giveaway. Giveaway. Yeah, or gonna, a special, special interview on the podcast. Special interview. Come on the, the podcast. Too. Come exactly, on the podcast bro. and get the full experience. Yeah, exactly. Did you do you. a live? Would you do no. a live podcast for your like thousand subscribers? Buddy? Oh yeah, I would. And so when get, I get like, to one thousand, the- that's when I'm gonna start bro, doing like they have like thing. all the boys. Like, yeah, you yeah. have a rotation going. Yeah, you everyone know. pass on the mic. You start talking yeah. your shit. And I, I was telling John uh, that I w- I want to start uh, doing like uh, Friday girls night. You know, invite like a bunch of girls, two yeah. or three, on the pod, on the Come show. Come on down. Come on down. And, you know, just fucking have fun. You Come know, on down. You know, because so far, like, I've been only inviting my friends, you know, because. Friends and funny, baby. And friends and funny. <laughs> Come man. on. Friends and know? funny, baby. But now, now, now I see that I'm growing and people have been requesting for some bad girls, you know. Oh, some bad man. Hotties, some baddies, you know. Ting. So we you. have to, we have to listen. Accommodate. To you got to give the people what they want. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, make sure yeah, you yeah. keep me on that list yeah. with you. Know. <laughs> nah. All right. No, no I'm gonna. Friday night. That. Friday night. You said Friday night. Friday night okay, I'm Friday? keeping my. No, maybe we might start this Friday. I don't know. What I day is to... it today? Tuesday. 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 We might have to make it so a Tuesday we, night. We gotta push him, bro. <laughs> so we, you know, I still have to DM the girls and shit to see who wants to hop on. If you actually want to hop on, um, just text me, DM me. I'm going to create an email just for, you know, fan mails and shit. Business. Yeah. And for business. Business. You know, so I'm going to attach that on my profile. You're going to so. get a manager if you hit a thousand? Nah, fuck no. Bro. Fuck no. I'm going to, because what, what's you got the manager going to manage? Kingsley, you, know? you guys advise each other. Yeah. You, you guys are brother, brother, brethren, yeah. you know, nobody yeah. gives you better advice than family. Because nobody think, wants your best interest. True. Yeah, bro. What do you think the dynamic would be like? It would be different with girls? Uh... How is it different? I, I think... I think we should um cut this convo out of the podcast. Though. No, no, I love it, though. You <laughs> like it? Like, no, no, no. What, what would it be with girls? Uh, That's a good good question, because if I'm thinking about it now, it means like it's actually something I've never thought about. Right. So with girls, it's still going to be entertaining, of course. Like, that's the one E that never goes away, yeah. you know? It's still going to be funny. You know, because the girls, you know, I want to make them relax and stuff. And, you know, uh, I want them to enjoy being on the show, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want someone that's going to be on and be quiet. Uh, you know, be like, mm, attitude, to me. Attitude. yeah, you know, like, it's something that you would love to hop on, you know, like. Yeah, right. charismatic. I'm, yeah, charismatic, you know, we're like, I used to. Time. Yeah. We're you know, like, we're going on the boat and then we'll come here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one, though. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, Mike. Shout out to <laughs> shout out to the boat though, because that was fire. Yeah, that boat. boat trip that you organized for us, dude, that was that was so fun. Everyone, everyone. And this guy was late. We were telling the crew, don't leave. JP John is coming. He's coming. And we, we were waiting on you. Boat bro. Locked in San Pedro. And then what did you do? <laughs> and then what did you do? Cause because you know that that early energy that everybody's all like kind of awkward and like yeah. everybody dude, we got the whole boat to wait for you. So when you pulled up, it was like super everybody was lit that you were there. <laughs> I know, and people didn't even crazy. know who you were. That's they were crazy. like, JP John, John's coming. So dude, it was lit. But dude, that was respect that was for fun. pulling that together. Dude, that was yeah, so it was, fun. It was a team effort. I will, I will that was super fun because because I mean I've never done anything like that before. So that was like a organized you know yacht cruise with just great vibes right. and you guys had Thanks. um people that you were really cool with and then people that had no idea who they were right. so it was a great mix you know i was meeting people i was freaking and you were there so yeah. it was lit and my other boy was there so bro that was that was respect that's one thing i actually really like to do is mix different crowds sure, together dude. whether it's dinner it's a big party yeah or, or something more intimate yeah just invite a bunch of my friends that are in different friend groups and then see how it collides. Because sometimes it'd be like the most awkward, like no one's going to talk. So do you me. organize things? <laughs> not always. Okay. I, I, I just like doing that. Okay. Uh, that's yeah, not something I always to the mic? do, but what's up? Speak into the mic. My bad, my bad. Okay. But that that's something I definitely really like to do. Nice, bro. bro nice. Mix up the vibes, see how you, it is. You killed it that night. And then we, we should run something I, soon. I got so fucking fucked, of course. We should run. Board, oh, bro. I know. That was super fun. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, we had Casamigos that night. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. Oh that my that gold, the gold bottle hits a little different than the clear bottle. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Why did you say it like that, man? That was fun. <laughs> um, but that yeah. Sparks, no, that was fun. That was fun. That was respect, yeah. though. That was Something respect. like people have been giving me, like, uh, props on is, you know, knowing, like, I, I don't plan it, but, like, the people I invite on my show, it's just like my friends. So even if they, when they don't know each other, I introduce them and then they mix and then they just become friends Lit. after for yeah, some Yeah, no, reason. we got lucky. I you know, know I've known this guy yeah. a couple years ago. We met with bro. Grew up. Like together, I was bro. telling you earlier, this is something I want to talk about too. When you meet, right? When you meet a good person, you yeah. can feel it. Yeah, first. right. Yeah. But when you cause you know what it feels like to meet a not a good person. You know, like, okay, they have this going on, they have this going on. But when you meet a good person, you feel the energy with you, with him. So it's like what what is it that that you can feel you can feel trust first of all you can feel honesty mm -hmm. because when you feel when you know someone's bullshitting you yeah i can eat that all day true, true. i can see it i can true. feel it i can hear it yep. i can taste it i can smell it <laughs> i can smell and you know bullshit is bullshit <laughs> right Facts, and you know that and i mean yeah. you've been well traveled true right true well traveled yeah you know when someone's feeding you bullshit you can taste it so i mean Dude, I mean, it's it, it's like it's love, you know. Yeah. Um, so, so let me ask you this: Everyone always talks about what you look for a girl. What's your dream wife thing? What do you look for in a guy, bro? A just, guy friend? just, bro, just, just honesty, bro. Just, you know, ask a question. You know, you get a straight answer. You know, I mean, with anything, it's like people try to go around the bush, behind the bush, grass is green or whatever. But just a straight answer, bro. Like, you know, I don't want you to take three days to think about your response and you know, ask you a question. Yeah. um just trying to catch a vibe you know what what are you on what are yeah. your priorities yeah. because at the end of the day you have to surround yourself with like-minded people yeah hence you know you guys are both doing podcasts now you guys are both doing videos like-minded like-minded yeah you know and i created a you know a great group of friends at school that are all about sports med and rehab and things like yeah. that so it's it's just creating like-minded group um creating a strong group of individuals around you is is i mean how can that hurt you yeah, right that's facts bro that's support funny. group yeah. right family yeah. at the end of the day you're, you're shooting for more than just friends with me at least because i shoot for more than just friends i look for friends i look for family i look yeah. for life partners yeah. business partners yeah. you know it's more than just friends that's a lot of people are making friends out here yeah it's more than that nah, it's more than know, that like what's crazy is that i used to be like a big fan of like because you know me bro like if you know me in person you know that like i'm literally like that everyone's friend like that everyone likes but you know at, at some time that, that was the time i mean i still okay that was the time that led to this time mm -hmm. that um that i didn't feel like i was being close to any you know i felt like i have hella friends but i have no close friends it was know? like surface level it was like surface party level just, shit and you just, know party and you know fucking shit like that so i realized that like fucking two or three years ago I was like, fuck no, you know, I can't keep living like this, you know. So I, I stopped like the fucking big fucking friend circle thing. Yeah. You know, I, I started, you know, trying to like find my own people, you know. And ever since then, bro, that's how I started, you know, getting a test of happiness, you know. Facts, bro. Because like you might you might want to be like, oh, the guy that is famous that everyone <laughs> fucking want to talk to and shit like that. But then at the end, when you go back home, who is that person that, when you sick, you could be like, damn, bro, I'm feeling sick, you know? It's like, who are you comfortable with saying all your demons to? Exactly, you know? You know? Who are you, who can you just... No, but you gotta, you gotta side? filter it. Like, you gotta filter it because, you know, whatever comes in your mind, you gotta know what's acceptable for yourself to even, like, externalize. Mm -hmm. Because we have crazy thoughts. You know, we got crazy thoughts. You sit by yourself, you probably sat by yourself this week, you have a cr thought some crazy stuff, but you gotta check yourself. Like, okay, is this reasonable? Is this rational? Is this going to help me? If it's not, don't say it. Don't think about it anymore. But just kick it out. So, like, keeping people around you that are important. Yeah. In your corner, bro. Exactly. In your corner, like. Keyword. But you got to filter it, bro. You got to externalize yeah. it. Because you can't you can't externalize everything. Right. If, sh if you externalize why everything. That, why is that? Bro, so like, because. Well, why is it I can't go to my boy and say, like, everything that I'm feeling on my mind? Right. Because you have a. So everyone has like an ideology, right? An ideal way that they're going to go about life, whether it's created from good family traditions, whether it's created from religion, whether it's created from business, whatever it's created from, that person has a way that they know they're supposed to live. So when you go against that, there's kind of something in the back of your mind that's like, hey, like you're kind of off track right now. 
but you feel it, but are you going to act on it or not? So when you think about something, it's the same way. Like, am I thinking on track mm -hmm. or am I kind of off track with my thinking right now? Like I need to check myself quickly. I need to put myself back on track because that thinking off track, if you keep thinking that off track, you externalize it, you start to live with it. You start to kind of manifest it. But then isn't it sometimes that's what your boys are for? Yeah. For putting you back into place and yeah, checking you? Yeah, for sure, bro. For sure. That's you know, sometimes, sometimes I may be saying sure. some shit, yeah. but it's like, obviously I don't want to, I'm like comfortable enough to trust sure. that person. But it's like, I would, if I, if you were my boy, I would want you to check. For me. sure. If I'm being a bitch, if I'm, yeah. you know, putting stuff out there that's negative, I would want you as my boy to be like, yo, you're in the clouds right now. Everything is, you're, you're looking at everything super narrow sidedness and he opens my eyes and he says, for sure. no, stop being a bitch, get to work and let's think positive. For sure. And I agree with you, but how old are you? <coughs> 22. Okay. I'm 22 as well. How old are you? 24. 24. So if I come to you, right. And I say, I'm having this problem. I'm 22. I go to you. I just graduated from USC. I live in LA. You live in LA. You just go to USC still. We're kind of living like similar lives over here. So I come to you with a problem you're probably going to think the same way I'm thinking. So it almost becomes like blind leading the blind, right? Not necessarily. Well, that's the context. Yes, but I do have different experiences. Yes. I know different people. Yeah, yes, yeah, for, yeah. Sure. for sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah, because, you know, like when... Really? Right? Grow up early. You I had to grow up early, I had to grow up early like too. Like I had to so, grow up so early too. So many shits. I've experienced it and I have like... Sometimes I still need my boys to check me. You know, like I have like a couple... People that always check me every time and I'm so grateful for them. Even though I, I might have felt like, oh, I have so much experience. I'm seeing the learning process, you know. Yeah. Same thing with YouTube, you know. Like one thing I always do when I face adversities or when I feel like, damn, what the fuck is going on? You know, I just like step back. Uh, you know, I always take a break. You know, I told you that I took a break from YouTube. Yeah. And whenever I come back, I come back better. Come you know, back so stronger. whenever uh, I feel like I'm, you know, damn, so confused. What's going on? I just stop whatever I'm doing with regards to that, focus on something else, think about, damn, what's going on with this? You know, like, why isn't this going the way I want it to? Yeah. You know, then that way I just have to find back my purpose. Like, why did I start this? You know? So whenever I took break from YouTube, came back, I added something nice to the show, to the YouTube, to the channel. And, you know, that way it's been growing. You know, so that's one thing I love about taking breaks and always, you know, uh, as he said, you know, rational, not trying to internalize, but when you internalize, you also talk to people, you know, because when you talk to people, it's always nice. For sure, bro. Yeah. Um, there's like a study done and they were saying like how chiropractors are the best diagnosers because we have to look at so many different aspects of, of the problem. Um, it's only given if it's needed. Mm. Only what, given what if it's are, needed. What are the main issues people come into an office for? Like, they, what's say, the most they say low common? back pain. They say like 40, some crazy number, 40 million people suffer from low back pain. Uh, sometimes I have low back pain. Bro. Everyone has How low back pain. How about to like the gym for low leg day mm. and then come back and you just can't fucking sit down. You know? Absolutely. Pain, people yeah. come in from low back yeah, pain. I mean, low back pain is crazy. It generates, you know, a lot of money. Yeah. Why? Because people are sitting like this all day. Yeah. They're sitting like this. Yeah. They have neck pain. They have back pain together. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's the main thing. Um, other people, you know, we can, we can help out anybody, muscular, neuromuscular, skeletal specialists, yeah. um, NMS specialists. So, I mean, dude, I'm still on my second term of 10. So it's second, a oh, second oh, term oh, of 10. Yeah. It's that's deep. Crazy. That's one it's, thing I respect about all you doctors. I yeah. swear. You guys commitment to just staying in school, grinding and just sticking to the process. Dude. That's like the ultimate delayed gratification. And especially process. with you guys, both of you guys, cause I know that. You started this podcast. Yeah. You're starting your own thing. Yeah. What's the biggest thing that you would say is having fun with it, right? Mm -hmm. Keeping yourself engaged, keeping yeah. yourself interested, not f just for your followers, but you have to think of how am I going to keep myself in it? True. So, True. I mean, when I'm learning, yeah. I love sports. I love sports medicine. I worked at the school with all the sports med, football, basketball, baseball, all that, track and field at USC. So, dude, it was a great time and I learned a lot and I learned that I want to keep going in it. Yeah. So that's what you guys are doing too. And so, so term two out of 10, you still have eight more semesters. Yeah. How do you keep it fun for yourself? Dude, I, I created a great group of guys around me. Um, great group of friends, all super serious about the profession. It's crazy because I'm actually the youngest one out of all my friends. Um, you know, I'm still learning from them. Yeah. Like not just about school, but about life. So it's really crazy when you're at a higher level education program and the people around you are so much more advanced in life.
Yeah. For me, it's not just learning about school, but learning about life, right? And that's what we're all kind of doing. Even with this podcast, you're going to learn stuff about yourself just from making videos, watching yourself, listening to yourself. So, dude, it's it's a, it's a bit of both, bro. That's just trying crazy, to bro. Like, apply yourself in as many ways as you can, yeah. right? Yeah, bro. Facts, bro. I've, Absolutely. I've actually learned so much shit. Uh, just one like, thing, yo. Last week, what's one thing you learned? This is my favorite question. From, like, from last just week. anything. That's great. Life, it, it doesn't have to be serious. Yeah, you could great. tell, like, that's, that's a good you learn person. how to do laundry. I don't care. Just, what was the one thing you learned in the past week? Last week? Yeah. One thing I learned that's actually uh, crazy is that I could actually have mad fun, mad fun just being, being by myself. Right. You know, what like, you sometimes, you know, like, I, I, I love FaceTime, if you know me. So like most time I would rather just be, you know, on the first time with some of my friends or, you know, with someone than just being alone and enjoying that me time, you know? So like last week, bro, I don't know for some reason because I got so busy fucking editing videos and shit. You know, I, I actually like fucking started feeling happy, you know, just fucking. Good man, bro. Good man, yeah, bro. Enjoying your which own company. Enjoying yeah, your own company. company. Absolutely, bro. Which is, which is wild, bro. Like, yeah. Healthy, yeah, which is healthy too, you progressive. know. Progressive, because then now I have like time to actually think about, damn, what do I need to work on, or what, or you know, what do I fucking need to improve on, you know? Yeah. So that's why I've been going crazy with the YouTube thing, you know, because I'm shit. Proud of you, bro. Uh, <laughs> and that's one thing I was telling you, like yeah. this journey for you guys that are just watching at home. Hopefully, if you're not doing your own endeavor, it gets lonely, bro. It gets to the point where it's like you're on your ninth round of editing the same video yeah. you're just there you know if you're blessed and you have a good friend of groups okay that's good yeah. but a lot of the times it's just you doing grunt work by yourself yeah head down hoodie up and you're just like how do i make this fun for myself bro that's and that, you know that's that's the same thing with anything in life bro yeah. i mean you're going to the gym yeah. you know some days you might not have your gym partner there yeah. or your gym buddy yeah. right but you still look jacked right <laughs> yeah, yeah. you go with the gym partner every day no fuck them. fuck them right yeah. so and like for everything in life you know yeah. business marketing podcasts editing bro it's all about the the time that you put in that nobody else sees what is going going on behind the scenes because what you're presenting to the public is your final product yeah what what are some things tools tactics you did to make yourself entertained was it more mental was it actual stuff you did while was editing it? the videos yeah as you can see, he did put some push-ups. <laughs> what I did to make it entertaining for me is that, you know, I start my day early as hell. Like, you know, as normal, like 6.30, 7, hit yeah. the gym. I get back at 8, take a cold shower, of course, and you know. um, make me some tea. And cold then, shower? Like, cold shower? Cold shower, yeah. Cold shower in the morning. In the morning, yeah. Wait, you ditched your pool idea? You don't I have cold baths anymore? I haven't, yeah, I haven't you turned soft baths. on? How long? Yeah. How, long? How long? Everything, not to the end. So you're shampooing while it's yeah. cold, freezing? Yeah. freezing? Yeah. How? Yeah, bro. So, you know, like that way, like it fucking wakes me up. Like yeah. actually wakes me fucking up. You, you, you know, think like, you get a better workout in the morning or at night? Oh, I, I'm, a man, I'm a morning person, so I don't go to the gym at night. Morning person. Yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah. if I go at night, I don't know. Feel weird. Like, yeah, my day would feel so weird, you know. Like, <laughs> you not feel structured because I've it's all in it's Absolute. all in the head. Mental, you know? yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah, it's all mental. So I go to the gym, or how do I keep the ed editing fun? Go to the gym, do all this stuff. I do make my tea, sit down, and then you know I have to like you know, so fucking yeah, you know, fucking tell myself, you know, fuck, it's time to give the people stuff that they want to see. Right. Yeah, you bro. know. So I try to. And how's the feedback been since since you've been taking it serious? Bro, people have been loving it. They've bro. been loving it. But they love you, of course. They, you know, and They're people, loving you. And people, like, obviously find me funny. Bro. You know, which, which I don't know how. But, like, sometimes when I watch my video, I, like, laugh at some shit. I say, <laughs> like, it could be yeah. fucking weird. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. Bro, bro. that's yeah. one thing I respect. Because I watch my shit back. I'm like, bro, this is the corniest, <laughs> cringiest shit I've seen. <laughs> In the moment, I'll be like, yo, this is funny. I'm, like, hyping myself up. Yeah. But then I watch it back. And that's where, like, I get in my head too much. I'm like, yo, bro, what am I saying? Bro? Yeah, bro. This, this was funny. Like, How's your journey been? Ago. How's your journey been? Journey's been good, bro. Yeah. Like, this guy has obviously been an inspiration. I'm glad. Amazing. Grateful. 
you guys don't see behind the scenes right before we set up everything jay was setting up every camera making sure the mics were correct making sure the lighting is good that's why we both all three of us look so good so it's a it's a process you, it's a process you. like we talked about it's it gets a little lonely there's downsides just like everything in life but if you make it fun for yourself like i have i feel like for sure it's it's definitely fun and for there's sure. there's deeper reasons why i do this i mm -hmm. don't just do this for the subscribers i don't do this for yeah. external things those are a great part of it don't get yeah. me wrong but i genuinely love like the pursuit of it so. how's it how's been so he said he's learned some stuff about like being spending some time alone like yeah. how are you getting yourself in the um what's it called the the, the groove, groove yeah. the groove or the the flow the flow of editing yeah so one thing i do is that i genuinely like my content if you guys have seen it it's based on taking the key insights that i find from books and from people that i like and kind of reteaching that through my videos in an simpler way, terms in, in simpler entertaining beautiful. ways. that's beautiful because they say you don't really understand anything until you teach it to someone else oh absolutely so it's it's such a selfish pursuit in the sense that i want to learn what i want to learn and if you like it that's awesome so in the process of me learning all these awesome stuff yeah and i do genuinely enjoy the editing process and going from ideation to all the way to clicking publish on youtube instagram yeah it's it's that pursuit for of sure bro. i really enjoy for it. sure Crazy. bro and then with that as well you have to find that fun in it too yeah. yeah yeah bro of course bro it's more like pursuit of happiness by will smith like that movie is actually that like movie. and you guys are kind of running it together a little bit. you guys are motivating each other yeah, he's like your gym yeah. buddy your podcast buddy yeah, yeah, yeah. or tv show buddy <laughs> that's crazy bro